Hi everybody, welcome to today's kind of mini tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to use Onshape Feature Script as well as kind of a basic overview of what it is. Before watching this, I would highly recommend watching our CAD 2 tutorial, which can be found on our YouTube page. And once you've done that, log into Onshape and open this file that you made for that tutorial, and then open the Gearbox plate if it doesn't already open to that. While you're doing that, what is feature script? It's also known as custom features, and it's a way for Onshape users to create their own tools. Today, I'm teaching how to use others' feature scripts. So if you want to make your own, you'll have to kind of learn that on your own, which feel free to do that once you're more comfortable with Onshape. Also, I, I'm going to put a Chief Delphi thread in the description, and you can see others discussing some of their own custom features. Basically, feature script is meant to make life easier. Most feature scripts that I've come into contact with, they kind of combine multiple operations. So like the one I'm going to show you, it fillets many things very quickly instead of you having to go into each corner and fillet everything like you did last tutorial. So first of all, I'd like you to right click on this fillet and you should see all these inside edges highlighted so you know it's the right one. And then you can either delete it or suppress it. Delete it just gets rid of it. But suppressing is kind of in case you want to use it later or if you're not sure what it's going to look like, it just kind of crosses it out, but it still leaves it in the menu. So that's what I did. But it should still kind of go away on your part. Now in your toolbar, it should actually be this symbol, this little plus symbol, add custom features. Mine is different because I already have a bunch of custom features, but you're going to click that. And if it's not up there, you're going to use the search tool to search for it. Then search Julia's feature scripts. And what I found is that it is case sensitive, so I'd like you to type it in exactly like I did, because if not, it's going to bring kind of a different menu up. And obviously, I didn't make these feature scripts. This person has spent a lot of time on these, and they made quite a few feature scripts. It's kind of a folder, so you'll want to click the one that doesn't say copy, so it's right at the top. And see, this person has made all of these feature scripts, which are quite useful. I recommend you check them out. But this one that we're going to use today, it has fill it in the title. I believe the title changed from last time, but if you just click the drop down menu and then you're going to click fill it all edges, um, I'm not going to click it because I already have it in my menu, but you're just going to click that and then it should add that to your toolbar. So once you do that, you'll, I believe you'll exit out if it doesn't exit out for you. And then if you click on your drop down menu, and find fill at all edges, it'll probably be the only one in your custom features menu because you haven't gone through and looked for all of these yet. So you're gonna click fill at all edges and then you're gonna click on, I believe the face. Yep, and then you'll click 0.25. I just like to use that number and click enter and then click the green check mark. And you should have a fully filleted pocket plate. Congratulations, you just used a feature script. It, as I said, it makes life a lot easier. And once you learn to use them, they can save you quite a bit of time. So thank you for coming. Once again, I'll put some resources in the description. So I hope you guys learned quite a bit from this kind of little mini tutorial. And also there should be a link for kind of documentation and what Onshape says feature script is. So if you want to want to do more research, that is always available to you.